Stunt Car Racer! Hello everybody, I'm your friend and Apple Let's Player Spider Man and welcome you to Let's Play Stunt Car Racer! So this is a racing game in 3D! Where at least that uh, they try to implement the 3D effect into the game, which is working really well to the game's uh, advantage. And also, yeah, there is a multiplayer and computer link. If you had many Amigos at home or with your friends, you could move them around and uh, link them together and then you could play a multiplayer together. Oh, it's only a two-player game though, because there can no be only two cars in the, in the track at the same time. So if you had a friend and who had an Amiga, you probably could link them if you had the, uh, the correct uh, cables and all that. Which I didn't, so I couldn't. But that didn't bother me, this game is really good on your own. Anyway, so let us put ourselves into the game. And there we are, at the bottom right. It's kind of funny that you, you are the only one who has actually a racing helmet, because that, that is a good way to do pretty much a very good way of uh, covering your face. So they made a good choice of doing that. And I'm not gonna do any practices, because I already practiced this game a little bit. Just to remind myself how the controls go. That's all I did. Just practice one track to get myself uh, familiarated with the... Familiarated? Familiarized with the controls, and... Uh, yep. Let's just start the racing season, and we start at Division 4. We are going up against Jumpy Jack on the little ramp. And this is the little ramp. It's also cool that the, in the preview you can actually rotate the track to get all the angles on what it looks like. I don't really know why they show that, because it doesn't show you where you start, start from or all that. So, I don't know. Still, it's a cool game. Drop start. Not yet, but soon. Go! There's Jumping Jack in his pink car. That will always be the uh, look of the opponent's vehicle. Just a very cubistic look. Because it's early 3D, so everything looked very cubistic, but... I like the, uh, the way that your car is actually hand-drawn, and I way, way too fast there. Already forgot how to go on this track. You do not want to over jump ramps like that. Even though you are far ahead of your opponent, it is not healthy for your car and also not healthy for your speed. Because you will be coming down like face first and that will slow you down immensely. Well, Jumping Jack is a very slow driver, as you can see, I'm already 600 feet away from him. I think that is that measures on the lower left corner in the minus it, it measures how far the other driver is from you. And also this is pretty much a good speed of around 150 at 60 to jump that. See? All too easy. And also you save up on the health of the car because every bump you do on it will come and bite on your ass. Especially if you do a really high jump and you come face first down, you will get a hole on your hull. And that takes away a lot of health on your vehicle. And you do not want that. You want to keep your vehicle as healthy as possible because if you... If that the bar on the top goes all the way down, all the way to the right, your car will break and the game is over. Car is pretty much total then. And yes, if you are a really good driver, which I am not, you can actually overlap in the first uh, opponents of the game. But later on in the other divisions, the uh, computer is a really good driver, so you won't be catching them to overlap, that is. But you can do that with these guys in the fourth division. It's not too hard. Race 1! And my best time was 48.06. I can actually do faster, but I went carefully. And there I am, showing my ass to the crowd. Or to us, at least.
At least we got two bikini girls on the right. I was wondering if there's gonna be any racer girls there. You know, do you always see those pictures of racer girls with their bikinis or very scantily clad girls around? Winner, two points, best lap, one point. So yeah, you get points for winning, but also getting the best lap. So you want as many points as you want to win the uh, division. So far, I got three points. He's got four. Yeah, we got this in the bag. Even if I win the next, if I win the next one, we've got this in the bag, pretty much. So it's four races per character. So you go up against them twice for each track. I really don't remember this one. There's a small gap there on the left in the front. And then there's these two jumps. And then there's a little bit of uh, jumpy jumpy here. I really don't remember the speeds to go here. It's been a long time since I've played this game, so I really don't remember everything about the tracks. But I did play this uh, quite a bit back in the day. Just to try and remember how the tracks go so I can be as good as I can at the game. I'm really bad at the start. No, 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 Saved it! Oh, that was... And you hear that clinking sound? That's him driving up my ass. And that takes a lot of your health if you bash into the other racers. Better not do that. I've lost a lot of health from bro from that. Not just, uh, you know, driving on the edge, but also him bumping into me. So this is going really badly already. But now I'm gaining distance, so that's good. Just gotta drive carefully. Here's the little jump. Ow. That is a very tricky jump. To do going over that gap. I'm already at over half health. Really? Holy shit, that took a lot of my health when he bumped into me. I do mean a lot. I have to drive very carefully here from now on. Because I don't want to get too much damage on my car. I'm gonna take these jumps very easily, but also keep my speed up, so... He drives really slowly, as you can see. I'm still... I'm going 150, and he's still... behind... going behind me even further. So yeah, the computer is... In these early... on the first uh, division, or the fourth division, whichever we want to call it. The first races. Let's say it like that. The first race is the opponent is not a good driver. And like I said, I'm taking it easy. Taking it very easy not to destroy my car. I'm not I'm not getting the best laps, but <laughs> then again, you know neither is he an ow. Ooh, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. This is not good. But I'm almost at the finish already, so... Nothing to it. Ain't nothing to it. Just a small gap here. Oops. Uh oh, come on. Come on, car. You can do it. I'm taking it easy. Not pressing the boost. Too much. And also, yeah, when even if you get the race one, the the, the uh, car still goes. And I have totaled my car even after I get the race one. You still win the race, but it's funny that <laughs> you totaled your car after the race is over. <laughs> that has happened. And yes, there's no music in the game, which is which sucks. Because you would expect to, there to be some kind of rocky music to this, like whatever you want to call it. Rocking music anyway. Now really, Jumping Jack won one race against uh, Roadhog. And Roadhog has won one race too. You guys suck. 
But then, then again, Roadhog is actually a faster driver than Jumping Jack. So we'll see how good I will do against Roadhog. Uh. I pretty much got this division in the bag anyway. This is the easy, very easy level. You could say it goes to very easy, easy, normal, hard. How the divisions go. Come on, jumpy. Now this time if we... We got this. I got a really good start, just more like straight out of a cannon. That's how I went. A little bit overshot. No, that's good. No, that's good. Not overshot. That was just perfect. Well, near perfect. Ow. And also, sorry for the sniffles. I still have a cold. Yeah. These uh, weathers are not prefer preferable to me. Too much humidity in the air again. I hate that. Makes my nose runny. I sound stupid in my recordings because I'm sniffling all the time. I have a runny nose and all that. It's annoying. That's what it is. Annoying. That's a good speed. Oh yeah. That was perfect. Speed up. Leading to the curve. Don't lean too much, otherwise you will drive yourself off the edge, which I have done a few times. At least I did it once in practice. It is not automatic turning, you have to turn the car when you go into a curb. But this is like, uh, you could say that this is like NASCAR on stunt ramps or start tracks, no, stunt tracks. You're here to see people driving uh, to the right all day. Except in NASCAR they turn left. So this is uh, a mirrored stunt version of NASCAR. Maybe. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just driving. And almost out of boost. If, you, if you're wondering what all the letters and numbers mean, on the left there's the L3, that means that it's lap 4. There's always 3 laps in each track. And B means how much boost you have, the fire that you see coming from the engine. That's your nitro boost, and how much you have left. Best lap. Hey, I made another record. Nice. Yeah, I've got this in the bag. Even if I lose the next race, it doesn't matter. I've won. I have won this division and I will move on to the next one after this race. The hump back. Yet again. Let us go. Maybe I'll do a little better this time. Not like running, not to run into the opponent from the start, get go, whatever. Hopefully. Let's go! We both got a good start there, but don't run into me. I got a little better of a start, and I'm just barely going over that. Slow down. I want to take these easy, although he's gaining up on me now, because I'm slowing down. But I'm keeping a good distance from him, already at 124. Oh crap, I turned the car. Don't turn the car while you're doing a jump. That is what happens. You lose control. Gotta be careful when you're doing jumps. Because once you start the jump and if you accidentally turn the wheel, yeah, you saw what happened. You lose control. That happens more than... I want to admit, come on, that should be a good speed to get to the top, yeah, perfect. You want to get the speed right up to 200 or so, to get over that jump easily. 
Come on. Not enough speed. Not enough speed. Ooh. Right on the top of that jump. Ow. You gotta get the speed up. At least to 200 if you wanna make up. Make over that second jump. Of those little hump. Of little humps. That's why this thing is called Humpback. There's a lot of humps on the track. The speed! Yeah, now that is a good jump. Just perfect, smooth, smooth, and that was beautiful. Come on, I get that speed up! Damn it! Can't get that speed up there. Oh no! 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 Making big mistakes there with my controls. <laughs> it's a miracle I stayed on track there. A little bit more, then I'm at the goal. Oh yeah. Yeah, race one. Make a victory lap. Or a victory bounce as, as it goes. <sighs> Alright. Another win. Hey, new record. Excellent. New records. Yay. And I win the division four. By a landslide. All wins for me. Yay. Max points. Yay. Promotion for Spider Moth. Hey! That is what we want to see in here. And there I am, holding my trophy for winning the fourth division and promoted to Division 3. Which we will check next time. I'm sure I think I'm gonna play this uh, whole game through because this is a fun game after all. It's not a, a typical racing game where you have like thousands of other cars to overlap and overtake and all that. This is just a uh, two one on one going up a stunt track, trying to beat the others in so many ways. With speed and accuracy with your speed and jumps. That's what you need, that's why I played this so many times back in the day, just to learn the tracks to beat them more efficiently, because you want to beat them very efficiently, and apparently Bully Boy went to the Division 4. Hmm. It's uh, also random who drops down to the lower division when you go up. At least I think it is random. Well, anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.